Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just with Mahesh. Today we are going to see how to explore uh, Anthos in GCP free trial account. So everybody can activate a free trial uh, for 90 days. So definitely I would strongly suggest to explore this demonstration. And since this demonstration is going to give you some idea on Anthos and you can do live the stuffs. Uh, and also uh, the application which you are going to see here is called as Bank of Anthos. So where it's a uh, an on-premise organization who wanted to move to cloud and they want to also have something on containerization, microservices, all those things. So that's where this uh, application is going to be really helpful. So let's get started with Bank of Anthos where we are going to explore, activate Anthos in a free trial account and see the entire demonstration. So let's get started. A quick shout out, I'm starting my seventh batch in Professional Cloud Architect. Uh, customized training where we are going to discuss almost like 130 hours of uh, content and the content is going to be up to date with the latest version of uh, the new version of uh, Cloud Architect exam which was released on May 1st with all the up to date uh, case studies and stuffs on Anthos, Istio, Cloud and all those things are going to be there. So if you are interested reach out to me on uh, one of these options for more details. So let's continue with our uh, Bank of Anthos stuff. So the content which we are going to do is basically uh, follow this documentation, which is very nicely documented. We are going to explore this and, and the name also comes from here. So Bank of Anthos. So let's try to do this. Before we follow the documentation, we have to make sure we activate our free trial in Anthos. So to do that, so if you just click on the hamburger menu, and go to Anthos. If you click on it, if your trial is not activated, you are going to be redirected to the page where you need to activate it. So 90 days is your complete GCP trial out of which you can use Anthos for 30 days trial. So just need to click on this. It's going to activate. So let's click on it. Let's click on it. And, and I have only 10 days left. So hopefully I can uh, make sure the content gets or the Anthos feature gets enabled so that I can at least use it for the next 10 days. So hoping for the best. So looks like it is enabled. Awesome. So my 30 days trial has been started, but I cannot use it fully. Now with that, the next part is basically uh, if you see, I don't have any Kubernetes cluster, nothing built. So this is going to be a little longer demo. Uh, I just need to follow the documentation as such. Uh, no rocket science, simple, straightforward following the stuffs. So nothing is there. And once we have the stuffs enabled, we will see Anthos service mesh. Uh, we'll see a few entries, the services, and we should see everything coming, populating automatically. Uh, usually first you create a Kubernetes cluster and register the cluster here. Then it's going to show the stuffs. Slowly we will move. Okay. So now the first part, we need to verify whether we have the enough uh, quota uh, so this is the quota which you need to have 7 vCPU, roughly around 24.6 GB of RAM, uh, 310 GB of uh, disk, all those things, 1 VPC, uh, 2 firewall rules and 1 NAT. So to do that, basically, uh, you need to get this, maybe we can set the zone if you want. So I'm going to set the zone to, say for example, and there's a news documentation where you can edit it here itself and copy it. You don't need to change it there. So I'm going to use Singapore A zone. So copy this and I will do it in my cloud shell. So the zone is set. That's the first thing. The second thing is you need to get this uh, source code. So let me get this and it's going to do a pre-check whether I have the enough quota or not. So let me try to do that. Only if this turns out good, then only we can do the demonstration. So it's going to do a, a pre-check, the prerequisite for this. So let's wait and watch. I don't want to pause it because this is, has to show everything as pass. Only then we are able to proceed further. So, and since I'm using a organization of a free trial, there's no organization kind of stuff. So I should be able to pass certain stuffs so project ID is valid and those deployment is not already existing. Good. So waiting for the stuff. So I guess everything is all pass. So let's go ahead further. This is what they show. So 
except there is a warning message the following filter keys are not present in any of the source key name not sure what is that uh, but most of them are passed so let's proceed so what we need to do is basically uh, create uh, it's going to create a kubernetes cluster with this name uh, so anthos service mesh is going to be installed config management is going to be configured and once everything is all done uh, we should see an app called as Bank of Anthos, a real app I would say where you can transfer money, receive money, all those things, really awesome. So let's get started. So uh, go to the deployment manager. So let me click on this. So when I click on this, I come here. So and you should see a uh, Bank of Anthos. So let me click on launch. So this is not enabled. Let me enable it. And the keypad is using the free trial account. You can uh, learn this. That's a cool part, I would say. So all good. Now we set uh, we check the prerequisite in singapore so if you want you can do it in singapore or basically you can just leave it as default your choice how you want to proceed so i confirm all the prerequisites have been met uh, so even in us central also it's going to work the same thing your choice which one you want to do it i'm just going to leave it as default and it's also going to uh, create an existing service account so let me just follow it launch confirm all the prerequisites are mentioned uh, that should be good enough so better create a instead of mentioning a service account let's create a new one that's going to be good so give a name to the service account so something like um, bank of bank of anthos sa so I'm just going to mention the same thing. Uh, description not required. The IP address. So this is going to be our uh, master's IP address. That's it, folks. So let's click on deploy. And this is going to take little time. Um, so first, it's going to create the service account. So service account is created. Let's go ahead and click on. So it, it automatically started the deployment. So it's a good amount of process, which is going to take uh, a good amount of time. So hoping for the deployment to happen. So I'll just zoom this out. So I'm just going to pause the video once the stuff is all ready. So I'll resume back. All right, at last uh, I was able to deploy the stuff successfully in one go. And as per the documentation, if you look into it, it says it's going to take around 15 minutes. For me, it took almost the same time. So after 15 minutes, it was all good. So that's what it indicates. Now let's follow the documentation where it's going to say just explore the stuff. So let me go. First of all, what this uh, deployment manager has done is it has created a, a Kubernetes cluster. So it has created a Kubernetes cluster with the name Anthos sample cluster one. And if I click on the workloads, I should be able to see some good amount of workloads. And I'll put a filter on the namespace, which is BOA, which is a uh, bank of uh, Anthos. So you should see good amount of uh, workload. And similarly, there are some services. So you can put a filter on namespace here. So you should see uh, roughly around nine, nine services. This is one way of doing it. This is how we used to do it in our uh, Kubernetes also. Now, because we are going to use Anthos service mesh and all, the better way to do is directly, and we would have seen many uh, official videos on Anthos. So it's going to give a single plane of glass. So where Kubernetes from multiple uh, environments, you can see it in one single place, right? So basically, if you go to Anthos cluster, it's going to show basically the cluster which has been registered. So our Kubernetes cluster has been successfully registered. And uh, to register this, uh, there's going to be an agent required. So if you are interested in looking into that agent, basically that agent is going to be in 
So if I reset this, so this is the one which is very important for registering purpose. So which is going to be part of GKE Connect uh, workspace. Going back to Anthos, so if I go to my uh, cluster, it shows me the cluster. I click on the cluster details, it shows me and the type it is GKE. So now if it's uh, not uh, GKE, if it's from AWS, it's going to show it as uh, uh, EKS, Elastic, Cuban, Elastic Kubernetes Cluster uh, Service. Uh, if it's Azure, it's going to show it as AKS, Azure Kubernetes Service. Or if it's on-prem, it should show something like on-prem. It shows those details. Uh, that's the first stuff. The second stuff is going to service mesh, which is nothing but Anto service mesh, which is nothing but managed Istio, which you get. Uh, and as we saw in our uh, Kubernetes services, we saw sub, uh, nine services. That's what it indicates. Nine services are successfully deployed and it shows you lots of telemetry information. Now, if I click on one of them, like uh, just following the documentation. So if I click on basically a service called as transaction history. So transaction history, if I click on it, it's going to show me the details of that uh, specific service. And I can also come to know this service is connected to what? So that's the beauty. So if I click on connected service, it very clearly shows uh, from the front end, it goes to transaction history. And it also shows that the connection is uh, using plain text. It's not mutual TLS enabled. We can enable it. And there's also documentation on that which talks about it. So further activity, we can definitely do it. So this is all the stuffs which is basically on the stuff. So if I go back to my services, I get almost all the uh, five, uh, nine services. This is a tabular view and a very awesome view which is there is topology view. So this will not be populated immediately. It's going to take around five to 10 minutes. So just leave it and you should be able to see a topology view which is very nice. The load balance, uh, load generator, it hits front end. From the front end, you are going to see basically the various other services. So this is a similar view which you can see it in your Istio. So the same thing you can see it in your Anthos service mesh. Now the, the final stuff which I wanted to show is basically the actual application itself, which you can see it under services and uh, ingress. So the gateway, this is the uh, gateway IP address. Now if I click on this, it's going to show cannot found. But if you look into the documentation, so this is where I usually say the documentation is the king. So you see uh, it is going to use port 80. So meaning I just need to remove this port and you will be able to see. So let me log off this. I guess I had signed in once. So this is what you should be able to see. So if you remove that port, you should see welcome to Anthos and there's going to be a username and password which is already going to be set. You don't need to enter anything. Just click on sign in and you should see a, a real banking application kind of stuff where you can really do transactions folks. So send money. Uh, send money to Alice. So you have lots of people already added. So send it to Mon Alice. So $200. So it's going to also detect it. It's going to be a real cool system. So I sent. So it was $7,840 which I had because I sent it to Alice. So it's credited. Now let me deposit something. So it's to my own account. So why don't I deposit something more? So 1000 So deposit it became 8,640. So awesome, right? So a cool application where you see n number of microservices, almost nine microservices, and we have successfully deployed this into Kubernetes. And we are also able to see the latest features, the Anthos service mesh. Ba basically, there are n number of services, nine services, how they are going to communicate, whether it's uh, the communication between them is uh, TLS or not, mutual TLS or not. Everything we are able to get it from this very nice view from Anthos Service Mesh. So which is really cool. Uh, the key part which you need to look is basically click on something like Balance Reader. When you click on it, 
the connected uh, service is what you should look for, which is going to show what's the device. So ledger writer, front end, both can connect to this thing and both are currently not using uh, mutual TLS. So that's something which I wanted to show today, folks. Hope the video was helpful and I hope to see you exploring Anthos in GCP free trial itself and see how Bank of Anthos works. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.